Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike, my name is Mike. Just wanted to start with saying that that blue shirt that you're wearing is just a whole nother level of fashion, congratulations. So as we all know from the fact that I mention this every 1.5 milliseconds, is that I have a master's degree in mechanical engineering. Get out, <laughs> get out. What you might not know is that I've been working as a software developer for the last two years. Okay. So wow, I'm a developer, congratulations to me, how exciting. What that basically means is that every day at work I'm pretty much staring at a screen full of code, or maybe two screens if we're feeling fancy. And I've seen and written quite a bit of code in a bunch of different languages by now, so I thought you know what would be fun? To go and look at coding or hacking scenes from TV shows and just reflect on how absolutely ridiculous they are. I went on a bit of a deep dive starting with this one scene from Castle. So we're going to start with that. And then I found a bunch more which just honestly, ah, just wow. System breach, oh. firewall one. We got a problem. What? Someone synced a rat to one of my servers. Already, wow. Did they sync me? Am I synced to the main router? Where the rats? Remote access tool, we're being hacked. <laughs> By Loxat. Also, one of the key things about these scenes in TV shows, and also actually for real life coding and development, just make everything an acronym. It makes everything so much more exciting to be like, hey everyone, today I'm working on the MTUI XMRAT for the WXP RQZJW. You haven't found us yet, just crack the outer layer of our system. I'll start an intrusion inspection and find out who our rat is. Crack the outer layer of our system. The spinning cubes. Why are they cubes? Why are they spinning? What does that mean? Oh my god. Why? I need to watch it again. You did this for what? So I've paused the spinning cubes and it seems that in order to hack something, you just put a bunch of random shit, which... That's how I debug my code usually, to be honest. That's so upsetting. If they don't find the rat, then clearly the cubes just weren't spinning fast enough. Uh-oh. They're on to us. They're trying to track our IP address. They're coming from inside the city, trying to narrow it down. Okay. <sighs> what is that? I gotta say though, do love the interface because the type of development work that I do is making this kind of stuff, what the user sees, and it's one thing to have all this whack technology to hack stuff and prevent hacks, but then who's making the UI for this? Who's going, okay, here we're gonna put three miles in a black box with some disgusting white, like transparent circle behind it. It looks like a little bit piss colored. Maybe drink a little bit more water. Oh shit, all right. Look, all I'm gonna say about that is sis is typing a lot of G's and V's. Hello computer. Do the counter strike, please. That barely slowed him down. I'm sorry, but he's going to find us in less than a minute. Should we abort? No, we, we've only got two of the blinky boxes left to go. Why do they all have the spinning dice? Just hack, hack. Maybe the reason why I haven't been promoted to manager yet is because I'm not using the spinning dice. She's almost there. I can launch a cyber nuke, but it'll completely fry your system. Oh, well, 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 what do we have here? I have to do this decision daily. Am I going to press the red launch button with white arrow with the rocket on top of it juxtaposed over the screen with some shitty clip art? Maybe. Is that a go for launch? Yes. No, 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 no. But what are you launching? What? I could launch a cyber nuke. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. Next, we have a clip from NCIS. I'm getting hacked. A port scheme? No, no, this is major. They've already burned through the NCIS public firewall. They burned through the firewall, and now all my windows are just popping up everywhere. Because that's how hacking works. If you hack someone's computer, all their windows just pow, pow, pow. Window shopping during Christmas. Well, isolate the node and dump them on the other side of the router. I'm not even... I'm trying, it's moving too fast. Oh, this is not good. We're using our connection to the Infus database. Sever it. I can't. I'm twitching. What do I say about this? What is there that I could possibly say about this? Let's just get two people on the same keyboard, which means double the pace of the hack, clearly. NCIS writing team said, I don't know what your problem is. It's more efficient. Two people on the one keyboard. Lower costs, because you need to get more equipment. 
and then also double the speed. Hello. It's a point attack. He or she is only going after my machine. It's not possible. This DOD level nine encryption. It would take months. <laughs> No. I know Mr. Sir has got his hands on that control shift caps tab just banging away. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, she's like, oh, delete insert F12 print screen. Oh. Ah, where'd it go, Abby? I didn't do anything. I thought you did. No. I did. Thank you, old man, for saving the day. Next, we have another one from NCIS. The laptop isolates the SD card and the cage isolates the laptop from the rest of our network. Wait a damn minute. Whenever I hear the word isolate, it just triggers my fight or flight response. What's happening? What about the firewall? It ate right through it, and then it bypassed the cage through the power cord. <laughs> I love to keep from crying. Jesse J just got hacked through the power cable. This next one is from Criminal Minds and it just really made me angry. <laughs> Why is the computer so noisy? Put it on mute, turn the volume down, put some headphones in. Is there a problem? Well, this might be the coolest girl I've ever met. I've never laid eyes on her. But her gooey is mind blowing. Her gooey is mind blowing. Her gooey is. I can't even do it. Her gooey is mind blowing. Shut up. Riddle me this, Hollywood. Why do you only cast people for coding or hacking roles that look like they don't shower or only eat pizza? Like, hello. Where's my representation? So basically they're having a little code battle on the same computer screen. I do not have time for this. <laughs> me watching this. You are not seriously trying to back hack me. Oh, nicely played. Why is there a world map in the background? Where are they going? <laughs> I swear every single coding scene has a world map in it. What is the purpose? What is your purpose? Have fun getting out of the wormhole. Maybe I'll just start screaming. Sometimes I forget to take my anti-hacking USB to work and I just get hacked. That's how it happens. One time my dad got an email from my cousin and it had a dancing elves virus attached to it and he opened it and there was like dancing elves just like attached to the screen with all these like weird faces on there. That was a great time. That was lots of fun. So we got hacked with the dancing elves virus and you know why? It's because my dad clearly did not have the anti dancing elves virus USB. This one right here has a special mention because it's very closely related to what I do, which is like front end development. So latest on the scroll MD website, HTML injection, check it out. Someone hacked a curtain ad on the scroll MD site. Looks like a normal ad, right? And this is the code for the ad. But peekaboo, there's actually two codes written right on top of each other. A click baiting skin. Right. Like it. What? Yes, that is how clickbait works. That's like when Jake Paul puts up a clickbait title, that's one area of code. And then the real type is hidden behind that. Code AB. So I figured I'd end with showing you a fun little hack you can do yourself when you're feeling a little bit bored. So here we have the tab that I had open for watching one of Cody Ko's videos, fantastic TikTok POVs. Yeah, great, fantastic, we love to see it. Right click inspect. Then this opens this nice little dev tools panel. And what we're gonna do is we're going to select the title which says TikTok POVs, or it did. And we're going to change it to this. The real message here that Cody's trying to get across is that you do in fact need to be subscribing to Mike's Mike. So thank you very much for that, Cody. I really appreciate it. Golden hour, am I right, ladies? That brings me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you got something to say, leave a comment. If you know Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out. Bye, it's Christmas, let's go home. And also fly into the sunset maybe? Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> There's a greyhound that my dog absolutely despises. And it just walked past.